Hi there. Say hello to all our friends, Woodstock. <whistles> it's nice to be with you again. <whistles> that sound means you should turn to page one in your book. Here comes Charlie Brown and Sally. He looks worried about something. Gee, Sally, I can't think of anything to bring to school for show and tell this week. I can't either. Oh boy, show and tell, my favorite thing in the whole world. It take me, take me. I just can't think what to bring. Me, 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 take me. Maybe I could take Woodstock. <whistles> mm, what about me, me, me? I don't understand why they don't notice me. I'll have to do something to get their attention. Some people like the movies, some like TV. Others like the circus or jogging by the sea. But if I had my choice of what I'd like to do, I'd go to school and show them all a thing or two. Oh, won't it be swell to do show and tell? Oh, wow, everyone in the place. <laughs> Won't it be neat to have them on their feet with a smile on every face? I'll start with a joke, then sing them a song. You know I'll have them all hope and I'll go on and on. Oh, won't, won't it be swell to do show and tell? Show and tell, won't it be swell? I better not get nervous. I better keep my cool. I can't let any doubts get in my way. I need that showbiz look. I've really got to cook. Cause this is gonna be my greatest day. Won't it be swell to do show and tell? Oh, well. The place. Won't it be neat to have them on their feet with a smile on every face? I'm gonna start with a joke, then sing them a song. I'll have them all hope and I'll go on and on. Oh, won't it be swell to do show and tell? Show and tell, won't it be? I just can't wait to see. Show and tell, won't it be swell? Well, if you're thinking of taking Woodstock, maybe I could take Snoopy. I thought you'd never ask. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Look, here come Linus and Lucy. I've decided to take Linus's blanket to school for show and tell. You're going to let her take your blanket? She says she's going to do great things with it, and I'll be very proud. Oh boy, oh boy, I wonder what I'll get to do. Come on, we've only got a little time to get ready. We have to write down what we're going to say in class. See you later, Snoopy. Say, I just remembered. Two very special visitors are coming to see me today. But I won't be here when they get here. I'll have to leave them a note. They can meet me at school. It'll be a great surprise for Charlie Brown. They'll be perfect for show and tell. Now, Snoopy, I want you to be good in class. I want us to make a good impression. We'll be fantastic. Woodstock, all you have to do is listen to what I say, okay? <whistles> Are you sure you won't hurt my blanket, Lucy? On the contrary. I'm going to make your blanket famous, Linus. Good morning, class. Today for show and tell, I am going to thrill you with some fantastic magic. What's magic got to do with Linus's blanket? Linus looks a little upset. Ladies and gentlemen, look my way. I have a magic trick for you today. It will thrill you and chill you and fill you with delight and put a little magic in your life. It will thrill us and chill us and fill us with delight. She'll make us smile, she'll make us laugh, and maybe even saw a lady in half. It will thrill you and chill you and fill you with delight and put a little magic in your life. It, it will thrill us and chill us and fill us with delight and put a little magic in your life. Who knows what wonder she will weave with her wand and a wave of her hand. Yes, to do something so new it's never been performed so hold on tight it will thrill you and chill you and fill you with delight and put a little magic in your life it will thrill us and chill us and, and fill you with delight, delight. Hmm. And, and put a little magic
Chicken Guy. I wonder what Lucy is going to do with those scissors. And now for my great magic trick. I will cut up this blanket into many pieces. And then, by magic, it will somehow come back together in one piece. You're going to do what? I think Linus is very upset. Stop her, Charlie Brown, stop her! Lucy? Lucy? There, I've got it into many pieces. Now the magic words, Sydney or the bush. And you see? Uh-oh. It didn't come back together again. Something seems to have gone wrong. I think Linus just fainted. OK, it's my turn. I'll make my sweet baboo forget about his stupid blanket with my brilliant report. I hope Woodstock knows what to do. Woodstock looks nervous. In North America, there are 97 different families of birds and about 1,800 species of birds. I didn't realize that. Woodstock's starting to shake. As for what kind of bird this is, I don't have a clue. But I will show you what he is able to do as my part of show and tell. Stop shaking, Woodstock. First, he will show you how he can whistle. <whistles> Good grief. He is too nervous to whistle. Relax, Woodstock. Well, instead of whistling, we will show you how a bird flies. Come on, Woodstock. Show them how you fly. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this. He's shaking. Look, he's going to try to fly. Uh-oh! Look out, Woodstock! Look out for that! Lamp. Good grief! He broke the teacher's desk lamp. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about what happened. So far, this show-and-tell has been a disaster. Charlie Brown and I will have to try to save the day. The teacher is all red in the face. Yes, ma'am. I'll give my report next. Yes, ma'am. I'll try not to wreck anything. Good grief! I'm the laughing stock of the class. I'm glad my sweet baboo fainted and didn't see me. I saw you! And I am not your sweet baboo! And I want my blanket! <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, but I'm very upset. Come on, let's get this show on the road. For show and tell, I have brought my dog, Snoopy. I'm a star. I'm a star. Look how they're all looking at me. He was born at the Daisy Hill Puppy Farm. That is correct. He is called a beagle. The first mention of a beagle goes back over 500 years to the year 1475. I didn't know that. I must be hot stuff. Some people think the word beagle is derived from a French word meaning open wide. What am I, a dentist? Others think beagle comes from the word in Old English that means small. Uh-oh, the audience is starting to yawn. I think he's boring them with too many facts. Hundreds of years ago, the beagle was used by English royalty as a hunting dog. But since the late 1890s, the beagle was listed as an American field dog, used for catching rabbits. How disgusting. Look, the whole class is falling asleep. My big chance for stardom is slipping away. What can I do to save the day? Open the door, Sally, and see who it is. Who in the world are those two? Oh, boy! My surprise! And just in time to save poor Charlie Brown's boring report. Come in! Snoopy, what in the world are you doing? I don't know, ma'am. I didn't know anything about this. 
I think the time has come to put some life into show and tell. So may I please present my brother Spike and my sister Belle. Together again for the first time. Isn't this perfectly swell? This calls for a celebration. I'm Snoopy. I'm Spike. And I'm Belle. We were born in a basket at the Daisy Hill Puppy Farm. With only three callers to our name. We love playing together, but much to our alarm. There came a sudden ending to our fun and games. I settled down in the desert. I went to Charlie Brown. And I call Kansas City my hometown. Oh, what a great reunion. Have we got stories to tell? It broke our beetle hearts to be so far apart. I'm Snoopy. I'm Spike. And I'm Dad. We gotta make up for that lost time. Gotta sing and dance and yell It's time for a real explosion From Snoopy From Spike And from Belle I'm Snoopy I'm Spike And I'm Belle <laughs> Yeah! All right! All right! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah! <laughs> oh no! They knocked over the bookcase! The books are all on the floor. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm very sorry. We'll take all the animals home, and then we'll come back and clean up the classroom. Good grief. The class is a shambles. Come on, everybody. Let's go home. I don't know what the fuss is. I thought we put on a great show. Those stupid beagles and that silly bird got us all in trouble. And what about what you did to my blanket? Oh, I'll get you another one. Gee, I hope we didn't get Charlie Brown in trouble. Oh, no. I'm sure the teacher will understand. She's a very patient lady. I guess these things just happen sometimes. But I wonder... What, big brother? Why can't I have a normal dog like everyone else? Why can't I have a normal dog like everybody else? One who likes to sit upon my lap. So what's wrong with being a flying ace? Or just taking an occasional nap? Hm. Why can't I have a normal dog like everybody else? One who brings my slippers or shakes hands. So what's wrong with being a hockey star or pretending I'm in faraway lands? Everybody else I know has dogs who bark or like to fetch a frisbee in the park. Why would anybody want a pet like that? Why doesn't he go and get himself a cat? On the other hand, why would I want a normal dog like everybody else? When Snoopy is such a special friend to me So what if once in a while he does crazy things There's no other way I'd want him to be So we don't want a normal dog like everybody else Snoopy's so much fun to have around He's the greatest beagle in history I'm glad everything turned out okay. And I'm happy that you at home finally got to meet my brother Spike and my sister Belle. We were able to clean up everything in the class. I didn't realize show and tell could be so much work. Do you have show and tell in your school? It's fun to share things with others, isn't it? Well, we have to be going now. See you soon. Show and tell won't it be? I just can't wait.